As hometowns go, ours is about average. It isn't a paradise, nor so depressed, really. It's just a typical American valley full of the usual complexity of people and patterns of living that make up an urban area of 300,000. We all know the good face of the Kanawha Valley. We see it every day. The chemical plants and the midtown, the suburbs and shopping centers, the gilded capital and the boulevard, the quiet river, the broad valley floor at St. Albans, and the close mountains at Shuey. The airport, the civic center, the schools, the churches, the clubs, the theaters. But a community is more intricate and subtle than that. Like any American valley, ours has some lesser faces, little corners of life that are hardly noticed in the daily hubbub. Not all boys have good homes and fathers and affection and guidance and good influences that surround other youngsters. Bob Hayes, there is emptiness, perhaps bitterness for some, when the unequal occurrences of life have brought unwanted hardships. Some homes have the constant requirements of the crippled, the handicapped, the sick. Some have the loneliness of old age. Some have mental illness. Some retardation. Some have painful marital unhappiness. Some have the gloom of unemployment. Some have raw poverty. Children are the greatest losers because they have no choice about their lives. They don't pick the homes into which they are born. They simply find themselves in a world, and if it has little to offer, they don't understand until years later. The very young, the very old, the ill, the handicapped, the troubled, the needy, all are part of life, and all need help from their stronger neighbors. So, like most American communities, ours has evolved a system of giving aid, a system in which the whole valley cares for its own. It is a simple method, one that has been worked out in Kanawha and Putnam counties over a nine-year period. The United Fund is a once-a-year drive to support 32 different agencies that tend the health, welfare, and character building of the region. It is a one-shot, united effort, a quick and economical way to do a job that otherwise would require 32 separate, wasteful, repetitious campaigns. More than 4,000 volunteers such as these carry out the United Fund Drive each fall, giving their time without pay. And well over 100,000 of us pledge contributions. People work and give because they know what the 32 agencies mean to us. Take Goodwill Industries, for instance. Goodwill helps the Kanawha Valley in three ways at once. It collects cast-off and outgrown items from thousands of families. It gives work to handicapped men and women who repair the items. And then it sells the repaired goods at minimum prices to underprivileged families. Without goodwill, many handicapped people would be jobless. And many families would have difficulty finding clothes, shoes, and other necessities. Goodwill is partly self-sustaining, partly supported by the community through the once a year United Fund Drive. This is only one agency. There are 31 more. Another that accepts cast-offs for families in need is the Mountain Mission, which also supplies food and emergency relief. Emergency help for families in immediate distress also is given by the Federated Services of St. Albans, Dunbar, Nitro, Putnam County, South Charleston, and Big Sandy District, as well as the Federated Jewish Charity. A new institution in Charleston's East End this year is the Faith Workshop. It was created at almost no expense by a United Fund member agency, the Kanawha Council for Retarded Children. Using a donated house and volunteer labor, the council established a sheltered workshop to teach trainable youths how to perform simple work. From basic chores, such as unloading this truck of stools delivered by another agency, to more complicated jobs, the boys will learn productivity. Their lives will become more meaningful and they will be less burdened to others. The Faith Workshop is still an experiment, but it is the sort of experiment that typifies the spirit of so many of the 32 agencies. It is a group of Kanawha Valleyans working together through an organization, giving their time as volunteers in an effort to ease an injustice. 
The Council for Retarded Children also conducts special classes for younger boys and girls to help them grow in self-sufficiency and cope with their unusual circumstances. While the work of the Faith Workshop is going on, still other agencies are busy from Montgomery to Winfield to meet the specialized problems of the Kanawha Valley. Good afternoon, everyone. The Kanawha County Society for Crippled Children and Adults, for instance, operates a cerebral palsy treatment center at Fruit School to teach young victims to walk and regain use of their bodies. The Children's Home Society of West Virginia finds foster homes for parentless youngsters and adoptive parents for unwanted babies. Camp Galahad on Blue Creek provides summer camping for blind, retarded, and diabetic children. The Charleston Schools Milk Fund and the Charleston Schools Shoe Fund provide milk and footwear for underprivileged pupils. The Matty Vealy Home provides living quarters for young women and wholesome leadership for youths. The Legal Aid Society of Charleston provides legal counsel for those otherwise unable to afford it. All these agencies are helping hands, and there are more. The Salvation Army, for example. Did you know that the Salvation Army operates a basketball-loving Red Shield Boys Club for youths, as well as its more familiar works? And the YMCA one of the most active character-building institutions in the Valley. Swimming instruction is only a small part of the WISE work. Other functions are physical fitness, camping, high wire clubs, adult education, teenage canteens, lectures, and lodging quarters for men. The main Charleston YMCA has branches in South Charleston, Bell, and St. Albans. A similar worldwide institution serving young women is the YWCA, also a member of the United Fund, and also a long-time establishment in the Kanawha Valley. Sometimes agencies work together. This Red Cross instructor teaching first aid to a Boy Scout and a Girl Scout is an illustration. All three groups are supported through the yearly United Fund Drive, and all three repay that support many times over. The Red Cross, both the Kanawha, Clay, and Putnam chapters, Eight Hour Valley through disaster relief, blood collecting, water safety training, and a multitude of services. The Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts are known throughout the world for wholesome guidance of the young. The Kanawha Charleston Visiting Nursing Association, about to provide this dubious young man with a shot, is still another UF member. The visiting nurses call at homes, check for communicable diseases, advise expectant mothers, help in public clinics. And there are yet more. Family Service Travelers Aid, helping both troubled families and troubled travelers. The Kanawha County Dental Health Service, giving dental care to school children who might otherwise go without. The USO, boosting Kanawha Valley servicemen around the world. The Community Council, a nerve center for agency coordination, and its Volunteer Service Bureau, steering a thousand volunteers into duty. The American Social Health Association, fighting vice and VD. Kanawha chapter of the Mental Health Association working against emotional illness. Finally, there's the Child Care Center, where youngsters such as these are tended during the day so their mothers may work. The children are romping now, but they also get kindergarten instructions to prepare them for school. And in the meantime, their mothers are able to earn a livelihood. Again and again, it's the children who gain most because they have so little choice about their lives, because they depend so much on others. Ours is just an average American valley, but every community becomes special to those who live there. And the united idea of the yearly UF drive helps with that specialness. Through a united cause, the people of Kanawha and Putnam counties support 32 necessary servants, 32 guarantees of a decent way of life. The valley is at work again. Will you join in?